What's up guys, Brian here with another video for you. Um, it's uh, Friday evening, uh, it's towards the end of the month. Uh, my last class just finished. And so uh, most of the time on Fridays, um, before I get out of here, I take the time to, of course, clean the gym. Uh, I try to keep this place as clean as possible, but I use cleaning the gym, especially at the end of the week, as a way to um, reflect on the week, and especially when we're coming up to the end of the month, ask myself, am I doing all I need to do? What were some of the things that went well during the end of the month, but what are some of the things that maybe there were some negative things that happened that I need to figure out why, um, maybe go back to my go back to the drawing board and figure out what's going on. Um, so hopefully those of you that have been watching this video or these videos, you've been writing in your journal, all right? Number one thing you gotta do, you got to keep track of your progress, all right? I don't care if you're just starting out and this is just an idea in your head or you've been doing this for years, you need to write down everything. And then you take a time like this when the place is empty, turn the music off um, and reflect. All right, that's the only way we get better, okay? So I had, uh, I received a couple of emails. In fact, I read them this morning. Um, there's still a lot of you out there that um, are just getting start out, started out. Um, some of you don't even have clients yet. This is just an idea of something that you wanna do, but you're getting hung up on not having a place to train people um, not able to find a building in your area, um, having equipment issues, things like that, please do not get hung up on those things, all right? I was in the same place um, a few years back, and all that is is fear, all right? It's just fear, and it's your head messing with you, saying, no, you can't do this because you need this to happen. Just keep moving forward, all right? So I wrote two uh, quotes up here. These are two of my favorite quotes. Um, I've got them written everywhere, especially this first one. I use it a lot. Um, it's from a guy named Jim Rohn, who's a, a motivational speaker. If you haven't heard of him, look him up on YouTube. Uh, he's got some great things to say. But success is the steady progress towards your own personal goals, okay? This right here being the key, your own personal goals. Sometimes we get caught up in what we're doing. We start comparing ourselves to others. Um, we start thinking to ourselves we're not getting as big as we thought we were gonna get. We hear about you know the gym down the street. They're pulling in you know 200 uh, people a, a, a week or whatever whatever the numbers are. These astronomical numbers are. They, they, they're making all this money and you hear all this chatter and everything else. You gotta get that out of your head. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. It's your own personal goals, all right? Are you continuing to move forward, all right? And then the next one is failure isn't the end unless you give up, all right? So uh, this week I had a lot of positive things happen, but I had a few negative things happen too um, that I wasn't ready for. Um, you could call these failures and um, you know I got pretty hard on myself but I didn't I'm not giving up on my ultimate goal I guess is what I'm trying to say so um, it's not a complete failure unless you give up at that moment um, the other thing I want to talk about is is it's going back to these emails that I'm getting um, as far as you know not having the perfect setup for what you want to do right now um, I want you to um, take this story, I guess, and think about it. A few years back, I went down to Nicaragua, and in Nicaragua, uh, it's a very there's a lot of poverty there. there. It's it's a very poor, especially where I was. I was in Managua, and uh, the people that I was staying with, um, their homes are literally cinder blocks with tin roofs on the top, and some of them even have dirt floors. There's not even showers. You have to, sh you have to basically pour water on your head. Um, but these people, even though they had a dirt floor, they kept that place spotless. They took pride in what they had. 
And that's what, I, if I can get this across to you, whatever you have, I don't care if you're training somebody in a broom closet, it doesn't matter. It's your spot, take pride in that. And then just continue to visualize what you want and continue to make those steady steps going forward and, and, and getting better at what you do and, and things will fall into place. So I, I just wanna show you something real quick um, that I always think about brings me back to where I am. Let me just flip this around. I'm gonna come over here to my mats. So as you can see, my mats don't even fill up my whole uh, space. I got concrete here. Um, but if you look in this spot right here, I've got holes, big old chunks missing in the mat. This is a different style of mat. If you look at this, this is a different style of mat. You come up to the end, I got concrete, I got busted up concrete. None of this is perfect. I got a chunk coming out of here. You know, I could dwell on all this, but why would I want to? I take pride in this place. I keep it clean. This is my spot, all right? So I can't care about whether or not I've got, I don't have the perfect setup. So don't get hung up on being perfect. Get hung up on being excellent, all right, at what you do and with what you have, all right? I don't want to preach at you, but you're given certain things to work with to see if you can work with those things. And then once you do, then you might get something better or bigger. But sometimes bigger isn't better, all right? So do the best you can with what you got and just keep moving forward. And uh, remember, continue to write things down. All right, guys, um, you can email me at Thomason, T-H-O-M-A-S-O-N, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, at gmail.com. Uh, everybody that's emailed me, I, I try to get back to them in a timely manner. Um, I know myself, when I email people, I, I want them to get back to me as quick as possible. So I try and get to you guys. I'm trying to help you guys out as best I can. Please subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed. Please like the videos, share them if you can. I'm just trying to grow this, trying to help you guys out. All right, stay strong.